pissed off. Hey, what's up? Uh, so pretenders are pretty crazy, right? They're like Transformers Kinder Surprise eggs, but you, you can't eat them. Um, hard outer shell with a toy inside, right? What could be better? I mean, pr probably lots of stuff, but let's pretend you didn't read the title of the video or see the thumbnail. Well, let's just talk about one specific pretender. Octopunch! So Octopunch is a silly fella. Um, he's a pretty bad dude. He's living in the ocean, messing up boats and shit. It's crazy. In my mind, I kind of lump him in with Bludgeon or Bonsaitron. These guys don't really seem to care about keeping their existence a secret, you know? Keeping it on the down low. It's not what they do. One's a giant squid monster, one's a skeletal samurai, one's a nightmare bat ninja. They don't give a shit, right? But you know, I do feel like they'd be friends or like they'd get along just fine. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm gonna go over all the Octopunch figures I've got. If you like this stuff, maybe give it a like or leave a comment or something, that'd be great. But uh, yeah, Octopunch Ahoy. Was that good? Did I say everything right? I don't know. First up, the original Pretender one. What a beast, right? Those teals, those greens and yellows, that maroon. It's nuts, man. It's got a sweet diving helmet, and you can remove it to reveal some kind of nightmare mutant. You got fangs, a big bulbous forehead, glowing yellow eyes, and like, no thank you, you know? His arms are articulated, and that means with each punch from Octopunch comes two additional tentacle punches. That's crazy, right? That's like, what, 12 punches per punch? Yeah. No. I don't know, it's a lot of punches. Probably eight. Crack him open and he's got some kind of crab creature living within him. But who does it, right? I'm like missing a whole bunch of pieces for this guy, but even so, it's still a pretty good approximation of a crab, right? Move around some of the limbs and rectify the crotch tube to reveal a pretty basic, well-painted little robot noggin. It's awesome. I love the way this little guy's color scheme has like nothing to do with the pretender shell. These guys are like the inverse of bludgeon, you know? Here they are with some other figures and it's pretty good, right? but it is a weird start. But man, it's gonna get weirder, so just like strap in, because here we go. Next up, the BotCon one. You ever just wanna see a whole ass robot aesthetic and personality like applied to a vehicle? Well, congratulations, because I got a brand for you. But no, really, look at this shit. It's crazy, man. Like, I love the dedication. I really do. They took their mission statement to heart. Give Octopunch a gosh darn vehicle mode. And give it they have. Look at these color comparisons. It's a beautiful thing to see. No tiny crab man, though. But, I mean, that's fine. It's meant to be a real-world hovercraft thing. And if I... They, uh, 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 it would be real weird if this real world hovercraft came with like a crustacean driver and he's like driving him around in plain sight of the smelly humans. That'd be weird, right? Robot mode looks like this. And let me just say, dude did not skip any gym days. Holy crap. Buff. Ripped. Ripped. Yoked. These are just some of the words you could use to describe what you're seeing right now. But here's another few, right? Missed opportunity. opportunity. Yeah, I said it. Um, <laughs> you were this close to greatness and you threw it away. So for those who don't know, uh, BotCon made this thing, and BotCon would choose a handful of their exclusives each year to have, like, new head sculpts or new whatever. And their head sculpts ranged from freaking good to holy shit, no thank you, right? But this, this is borderline unforgivable. This dude really needed a diving helmet. I honestly can't believe it. I, I don't know how we didn't get one. Like, he looks good. Don't get me wrong. It's just you've nailed every other aspect of the original figure. All the faded ass 80s colors. Octopunch's very soul and essence is here. And yet you leave him with the hunt for the Decepticon sea spray head. That sucks, man. That's bad. But that's just what I think, you know. Um, here he is with some other figures. And here he is with the last one. Again, <laughs> it kind of boggles my mind a bit. It really does. But yeah, when I display him on the shelf, I leave this one in hoverboat mode and I just stand the pretender right on his butt. It just fits too perfectly, you know? Next up, the new pretender one. What a great little guy. The colors are spot on. The sculpt is great. The diving helmet's awesome, but it does have a big yellow disc where the face should be. But it's all right because, you know, that monster face from the original at this scale would be just no good. No thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it just wouldn't be great, you know? Um, so I'll take this any day of the week. The helmet and monster face aside, though, we do have two small hiccups I thought I'd mention about this little guy. One of them is uh, the internal robot is not a crab, which is fine by me because all the other Prime Master pretenders came with, you guessed it, Prime, Prime Masters. <laughs> so no big surprise there. But hiccup number two, they should have at least made the internal little fella crab colored, you know? How are you going to sell me a nearly perfect miniature Octopunch pretender shell that opens and closes, but you don't make the inner figure the same color as the original pretender's original inner figure? It's crazy, man. 
It's, it's nuts. Um, he's got arm articulation, door articulation, and back-mounted tentacle articulation. These guys also turn into weapons, so effectively you can have Octoboat with original Octopunch riding on top while wielding himself. More than meets the eye, right? <laughs> um, here he is with some other figures. And here's the whole tentacular family. And despite my gripes or minor annoyances, they're a great trio of mostly the same thing. AKA, exactly what I look for in a collection. Um, <laughs> and that's it. That's all of my got. Octopunch. What a guy, right? Uh, here's hoping we get some more Octopunches in the future, right? Give me a miniseries that follows around some B or C list Transformers during different events of the main accepted Transformers timeline. It'd be a good time. Just some bots making their way through the universe, you know? No world ending calamity, just everyday stuff. Here's hoping, right? But uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, leave a comment, Instagram, Twitter. You know what to do. All right. <laughs> Bye. They're like Transformer Kinder Egg Surprise. What? They're like, <laughs> I kind of lump him together with Bonzi. No, <laughs> Bonzi. You heard it here first. Bludgeon is inverted. <sighs> what am I saying? How are you going to sell me a nearly perfy, perfy? <laughs> here he is with some other figures. And here's the whole tentacle. Tentacular. Right. All right. I'm dead. I, ow.